Tonight's game here in Iowa is the first of two meetings between the Iowa Wild, the farm team of the Minnesota Wild, uh, a team that is struggling in its own division, a tough division at that, that the Marlies will roll most of the way through over the course of these next few days on this road trip. Uh, the road trip has not gone easy, both for the Iowa Wild, who came back from Hamilton and then spent a fair bit of time in the Buffalo Airport before they finally got back here 15 hours later to Des Moines. The Marlies, on a 22 and a half hour travel day, uh, finally got into Des Moines yesterday as well. A good night's sleep and on to this game tonight. But travel is no excuse in the American Hockey League. No, I mean, that's pro hockey. I mean, every every team in this league kind of, they'll have a, a couple weekends of, of tough travel. And that's, uh, that's what we got right now. So we just got to kind of focus on the game and get ready for a, a big tilt against Iowa. Derek, although travel has been tough the last few days, can't be an excuse, can it? No, it can't be. It's especially not an excuse for the coaching staff because we don't have to lace them up. So it's pretty, uh, you know, I feel pretty tired too. We've been sleeping pretty good the last couple of days that night. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's just you got to will it out here tonight and just uh, hopefully we can get two points out of it. Well, as it happens in the American Hockey League, sometimes the NHL club needs some help, and Jonathan Bloom and Eric Howla are up with the Minnesota Wild. They are second and third in team scoring here in Iowa. And the Marlies have just got back Jerry D'Amigo. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a great run for me. Uh, you know, playing, you know, 19 games or so is definitely good for, you know, confidence builder and uh, something that I've worked hard for. So uh, to get that and, you know, the, the support from your coaching staff and uh, all, your, all your teammates is just great to have when you come back and uh, they welcome you with open arms. Everybody that has gone up and come back has come back in such a positive frame of mind. Uh, I doubt you'll be an exception to that. Uh, you, what is it about this organization that sends people back in that frame of mind? Well, I think we're just happy to be up there, you know, to begin with. And uh, coming back, you know, we want to do well. So, you know, we don't want to come and bring negativity to the team. I mean, you know, that's what happens in hockey. You get sent up, you get sent down. You know, that's the way it works sometimes. And uh, you got to take it in a positive way. And I think, you know, it's happy to, I'm happy to see these guys and, you know, not happy that I got sent down, but at the same time, you know, you got to work harder to, to get your next shot. So that's what I'm going to do here, and, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Lots of people asked you in that first game, what was it like that first moment? What was it like 20 games later or a month later, whatever it is? It's, yeah. uh, have you digested it? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I've had you know, a month or so to digest it. Uh, you get you know a lot more comfortable and uh, a little more familiar with everything up there, and uh, that's what it takes. I mean, you, you just get comfortable and you get more comfortable to play up there, and uh, you play with less nerves, and it, it helps a lot. So uh, you know, I used that to, to my advantage, and uh, brought that with me to each and every game that I played. From Iowa, the Marlies travel on to Chicago for a Friday night tilt against the Wolves.